Hello everyone and welcome to Deakin University's virtual open day. My name is Justine Morris and today I'm joined by my colleague Nick Fady and we're going to give you a presentation on Deakin College which is your pathway through to Deakin University. So let's get started. What I'm going to talk to you and Nick will also talk to you today is we'll give you a bit of an overview on Deakin College We'll talk about the courses that we offer that pathway through to bachelor degrees at Deakin University into second year. We'll look at the entry requirements for Australian domestic students and international students that are studying here in Australia. We'll go through the student support that we offer at the college, the facilities. We're obviously located on the same campuses as Deakin University in Burwood and Geelong, both Geelong campuses, Waterfront and Warren Ponds. We'll talk to you about your transition through to year two at Deakin University, how to apply, and obviously how to get in touch with us if you've got any questions or you need further information. So a little bit about the college. As I mentioned, we are physically located on the Deakin University campuses at Burwood, at Warren Ponds, at Waterfront. The only campus that we're not located on is the Warrnambool campus of Deakin. But we've been working with Deakin University since 1996. And over that time, we've had over 22,000 students that have transitioned from a diploma or the equivalent of the first year of the bachelor degree through to year two at Deakin Uni. At the moment, we have just under 3,000 enrolments from 42 different countries. So we have domestic and international students that are studying the diploma programs with us. Our split is about 35%, which are domestic Australian students, and about 65% that are international students that are studying at the college. As I mentioned, we're on the three campuses except for Warrnambool, and we're recognised for advanced standing by other institutions as well. This little diagram just gives you an overview of how it actually works. So you will have completed your year 12, your BCE studies, um, perhaps you've done an IB program, so a year 12 or a year 12 equivalent. We also accept VCAL Senior at Deakin College. Once you've completed your year 12 or year 12 equivalent, you enter the diploma program. The diploma is the equivalent of the first year of studies at Deakin University, but it's designed for students who may not have quite got the ATAR requirements to enter Deakin University university bachelor degrees directly. Once you've completed the first year of the diploma program and met the required WAM, the WAM is the guaranteed entry. So if you have a program in business, for instance, you would need to average 60% in the diploma of business in order to pathway through to the bachelor degree in business in year two. Providing you do that, you've got a guaranteed spot into year two at Deakin University. The programs that we offer um, are quite varied. We offer business and commerce that transfer through to the business degree and various commerce and law degrees, communication, construction management, design, engineering, film, television and animation, health sciences, information technology, and also the Diploma of Science. We work on a trimester system, very similar to Deakin University, so exactly the same. Um, and the trimester system means that there's three trimesters in one year. So you can either complete your diploma in two trimesters, which is eight months, or the standard, which is the 12 month duration. There are eight units in the diploma, and what you need to do is ensure that you complete those eight units before you pathway and transition through to Deakin University year two. So you normally students will do it over 12 months and they'll do three units in their first trimester, three units in their second trimester and two units in their final trimester before they transfer through to year two of the bachelor. The classes are small. I mentioned earlier that we have students that have a lower ATAR that get into the, to the diploma programs. The class sizes are no more than 30, and that's a government requirement. But when there's no more than 30 in a class, it means that we've got that personalised service that can ensure that you meet those entry requirements to get yourself through to Deakin University in year two. I'm going to hand over to my colleague Nick now, who's going to go through all of our diploma programs. Thank you, Justine. I'll be going over the different programs and courses we have on offer at Deakin College, beginning with 
the foundation program which is taught at Burwood at, and Waterfront. Now this is the equivalent of year 12 in Australia and articulates into the diploma or first year degree. The students can complete the standard track program which is eight months and includes eight units which they have to pass or two English competency classes. However, if the students don't meet English requirements, they will need to do the extended track program which goes for 12 months, um, which means they need to complete 12 units which includes four English competency classes. Next, we have the Diploma of Business, which is taught at Burwood. Now, this articulates into the second year of the Bachelor of Business, which includes a few different majors, as you can see on the screen. Um, they are majors in events management, film and television, organisational psychology, people management, project management, property and real estate, public relations and retail management. The Diploma of Commerce is taught at Burwood and Waterfront. This articulates into second year Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Business Sport Management, Bachelor of Business Analytics, Bachelor of Laws, Bachelor of Property and Real Estate, uh, or the Bachelor of Commerce, Business Analytics, Commerce Laws, Commerce Science, or the Bachelor of Property and Real Estate Commerce, or Bachelor of Property and Real Estate Laws. The Diploma of uh, Communication, this is taught at Burwood and articulates into the second year Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Communication. Now the Bachelor of Communication has four different majors, Advertising, Digital Media, Journalism or Public Relations. The Diploma of Construction Management is taught at our beautiful Waterfront Campus in Geelong. This articulates into second year Bachelor of Construction Management Honours. The Diploma of Design, now this is taught at Burwood and articulates into the second year Bachelor of Design, either 3D animation, digital technologies or visual communication. The Diploma of Engineering is taught at Vaughan Ponds in Geelong. This articulates into the second year of Bachelor of Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering or Bachelor of Mechatronics Engineering. The Diploma of Film, tech, uh, Television and Animation is taught at Burwood. This articulates into the second year of Bachelor of Film, Television or Animation or the Bachelor of Arts. The Diploma of Health Sciences, now this is taught at Burwood and Warren Ponds. And this articulates into the second year of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Bachelor of Biomedical Science, Bachelor of Exercise and Sports Science. Bachelor of Nutrition Science, Bachelor of Psychological Science, Bachelor of Public Health and Health Promotion, or the Bachelor of Sport Development. The Diploma of Information Technology is taught at our Burwood campus, and this articulates into second year of Bachelor of Information Technology, Bachelor of Computer Science, Bachelor of Cyber, Tech, um, Cyber Security, sorry, and the new the new stream, uh, Bachelor of Artificial Intelligence, that has just been recently added as a pathway from this diploma. The Diploma of Science is taught at our Warren Ponds campus and articulates into the Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Biomedical Science, Bachelor of Environmental Science with the Environmental Management and Sustainability stream, or the Wildlife and Conservation Biology stream, uh, also the Bachelor of Forensic Science or Bachelor of Zoology and Animal Science. Okay, so the important stuff, the entry requirements. As I mentioned at the very start, we need you to complete your VCE certificate or an equivalent. You must also obtain an English study score of 20. For those that wish to do the Diploma of Communication, you must obtain an English study score of 25. If you're interested in studying engineering with us, we would prefer that you have completed math methods or specialist maths in your VCE. However, if you haven't completed either of those units, it is a requirement for the bachelor degree. So if you haven't completed those, but you're still interested in engineering, you can study the Diploma of Engineering, but we will offer those maths units 
that you must complete in addition to the eight units in the diploma. So these are additional units that are free of charge, but you must complete them in addition. So if you haven't done the maths in year 12, you can still enter engineering, providing you study those maths units with us. We also accept students who may have got a Cert 4, so a VET, Vocational Education and Training Certificate at Cert 4 level or above. And we also accept the VCAL senior. So for those students who've done VCAL, as long as, as long as you've got your senior certificate, you are also eligible to, to apply. We also have mature age students here. Mature age are considered those that are 21 years and above. And if you are a mature age student, you need to provide a resume, just letting us know what you've been doing between your year 12 and now, um, and also a personal statement and any transcripts that may have been studied. So from your secondary schooling, or perhaps you've done a TAFE program as well. We offer a lot of student support. We do uh, ask for students that, cut that out, Nick. We'll start again on the student support. We do offer a lot of student support at Deakin College. Students that come into us do have a lower ATAR than is required to enter a bachelor degree directly. Therefore, it's very important and imperative that we have student support services to ensure students maintain their academic average to get through to Deakin University. We offer a number of academic skills workshops. We have learning mentors from different countries around the world. These students are either in their final semester of the Deakin College Diploma, or they may have just transitioned through to Deakin University. You can book an appointment with a learning mentor or a peer, um, and they will help you to understand an assignment. So they wouldn't write an assignment, that they'll help you maybe understand and comprehend what the assignment might be asking for. We mentioned the small class sizes. We also have a student counselor, so a qualified psychologist on campus. So for people that would like private meetings, and then we have all the health and counseling support that's available at the university as we use the same facilities. As I mentioned, we have the small class sizes. And one of the things that we do highly encourage students to do when they get to university is be become part of the university campus. DUSA is the Deakin University Student Association. And there are a number of clubs and societies to cater for every interest. And we strongly encourage, it's a great way to meet people um, and get out and enjoy university life. All right, so the transition to Deakin University. So once you have completed your diploma program, there'll be a WAM requirement. Most are a 50% WAM requirement. For business and commerce, it's a 60% WAM requirement. And for biomedical, it's a 70% WAM requirement into those bachelor degrees. WAM, <clears throat> excuse me, WAM basically st stands for weighted average mark. And it's very similar to a GPA. So basically, if you are looking at a 50% to get through from, say, the bachelor, uh, the diploma of communications through to the bachelor of communications, you would need to maintain a 50 in each subject, but it's weighted over the eight units. So you may do better in one unit and you may do worse in one unit. You don't need 50 in every unit. You need the average of the eight units to add up to that particular WAM. And that's how um, the guaranteed pathway works. So when you get an offer letter from Deakin College, the offer letter will be the diploma, and then you'll get a separate offer letter for the bachelor degree at Deakin University. We also run transition sessions three times a year. So you'll have an opportunity to understand how to transition, and they're run by Deakin College and Deakin University as well. Some of our bachelor degrees have additional entry requirements. So for instance, the Bachelor of Law is very popular. So it's very important that you go to our website or have a look in our brochures and have a look at each of the units that are transferred across. So in most instances, the diploma, you can get eight credits the entire first year that will transition through to the bachelor degree. But something like a law degree, it means that only five units will be credited through to the law degree and you will have to pick up some additional units, some additional first year units for law. So please make sure you visit our website to get a clear understanding of all of the web, uh, all of the entry requirements, 
or we also have a chat function as well. So at any time, please feel free to reach out to us. If you're currently studying year 12, then you need to apply through VTAC this year. And this is for our March intake only. So if you're applying through us for trimester two in June or trimester three in October, you can apply directly. But if you have just completed your VCE, um, you must apply through VTAC um, and we'll accept VTAC applications. So those that need to apply directly to the college, and that's for June or October, um, you, don't, you can apply if you're a VCAL senior or if any of the VTAC rounds have closed. But otherwise, we accept applications via VTAC. One of the fantastic initiatives from the college is our streamlined timetable. This is primarily designed for students who might have a part-time job on the side as well. The Streamline program is offered in the Diploma of Business, Diploma of Commerce, and also in Health. The great thing about this is that you get your university over in two days. So for Business and Commerce, for instance, you might be there on Monday and Wednesday, and for Health, you might be there on Tuesday and Thursday. They're quite full days. You go from 9 or 8.30 in the morning through to 5, 5.30 at night, but you basically complete three units in one trimester. So there's just a sample there and we'll just look at the Diploma of Business. So in trimester one, that class of 30 will study those three units, including an academic integrity unit, which is a Deakin University required unit. It's a zero credit point unit. And then you'll study the three units in trimester two and the two units in trimester three, which means that you get your university studies, as I said, over and done with within two days and then you've got the rest of that time to either complete your homework tasks or work at your part-time job. This is just a timetable. And again, we've just showcased the Diploma of Business. So you can see there it starts at 10 o'clock. You've got a little break there from 10 to 12 on Monday, and then you've got 12.30 to 2.30 and then three o'clock to 5 p.m. And then you've got health sciences as well, just as an example there, so that you can see there right through from 9 a.m. on a Tuesday through to 5.30, and then on a Thursday from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. Thank you, Justine. So just before we close up here, I wanted to jump back on and discuss some of the facilities that you could be using at Deakin College. So even though for the first year of a potential bachelor, you'll be doing the diploma with us, you can still be on campus um, and use the same facilities as your friends over at Deakin University. Obviously, you can become a DUSA member. There is a gymnasium, YMCA, as well in one of our buildings on this side of the campus. There's many really cool study zones where you and your friends can um, you know, get a coffee and sit down for hours and hours preparing for exams and uh, doing assignments here on campus. There's 24 hour IT labs with computers in there so you can use them as much as you like. There's a medical center, disability support, Deacon talent. There is a bookshop and also a library on the other side, just over the bridge. Um, but that has, again, some really nice places to study. Um, a, a few really nice quiet areas, but also a lot of obviously books and places where you can collaborate with some of your friends or if you're in some sort of group assignment or group setting. I uh, just wanted to also jump in and discuss the academic calendar. Obviously, at the time of filming this video, we are nearly about to commence exams for 2022 trimester one. But in June, orientation will start on, on the 20th of June and teaching will start on the 27th. We then have a intro trimester break in August where students can kind of catch up if they need or put in some more hours or just have a little bit of a break if, if they need it. And then exams will commence in September. And then we have trimester three. That will begin um, after orientation in October. There will be a break in December and early January, obviously for Christmas and New Year's. And then our exams start at the end of January and finish early February. 2023, very similar in terms of the dates. We have February, February staff for trimester one, all the way up to um, last exams in June, early June. Then we have a commencement of T2 in June, um, on June 26th. 
we have the break in August and exams will um, commence and finish in late September. October again next year is when our T T3 will be um, starting in uh, the middle of October, going all the way through Christmas, through the summer and ending just at the start of February. If you want to get in touch with us, please feel free to do so. Uh, you can call us on plus six one or zero three nine two four four five one nine seven. Our email address is Deacon College at deacon.edu.au and check out our socials, Deacon College on Facebook and Deacon College underscore official on Instagram. Just search us and we'll come up on both platforms. We are also on TikTok. So that's Deakin College's presentation for this virtual open day. We hope that you are um, excited about your future studies and we hope to see you on campus next year.